second. Guys, welcome back to the channel and today you're joining me on the motorway I'm about 14 minutes away from Peterborough I'm on an absolute mission it's been about two hours we are or should I say I am collecting apparently one of the fastest X3Ms in Europe so this thing runs 830 brake horsepower I don't think I've ever driven one of these I can't remember driving an X3M I don't know why for some reason I feel like I have but I don't think I have. So yeah, as I say, we're nearly here. We're gonna probably introduce you to the owner. And then of course, when we get back to the ends, we we'll take a little spin, I'll show you exactly what this car's like. So, enjoy. Slow me down like speed hum. No. Keep up no. when I speed up. No. See your future, that's my past. Yeah. See the smoke when I drive past. Yeah. Fast lane, living life fast. We made it. We made it, bro. I think the guy is a dealer. For me, it's all about first impression if you ain't got the right photos i ain't interested i don't care if your car's mint i don't care about the price i don't care about anything if the car don't look banging i ain't coming simple as this car looks 10 out of 10 obviously a big big spec 830 brake but um yeah we're here you say he's gonna be here in a second do you feel the difference though if you run it on say like v-bar with a metal or? right but on the e30 map yeah i'll put it in it's Okay, got you. Uh, this is obviously my own company, but we still will have to do everything properly. Yeah. That's the full farm and kit done. Oh, so you reckon I'm going to get a ticket over there now? Or? You'll be all right for a moment, but yeah. we'll switch your own. Okay. Fucking mess game, isn't it? It's just something goes wrong. It's Bro, like... I'm going to put sketchy drama by yeah. the top now. It's 700. Yeah. I don't want to drive it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, man. Look at this. Baby, yeah, man. Nice. Murdered out, innit? Tinted the lights as well. Bro, or? she is... Uh, yeah, man. The missus likes a murdered out look. Yeah. So. <laughs> So, as you can see, all exposed yeah. carbon. Mm -hmm. The drain holes are here, there, oh, okay. so no water fills out. Yeah. But at the top, I didn't want a Halfords look, so she went the same colour as the car, okay. done by a Dinks body yeah. shop. Yeah. Obviously, you see people putting them in rear wheel drive. This has got rear wheel drive as well, but they go through drive shafts like anything. This one, okay. Alhamdulillah, no problem. Bro, this is a heavyweight <laughs> yeah. spec though. You ain't finding yeah. stuff like this. Look, exhaust has got three levels to it as well. Yeah. Eco mode, then one, yeah. and then the fully open. Mad, right? Nice, man. Oh, Hand shit. pumps there for the ethanol. Batteries yeah. are in. All you do is put the ethanol straight in the tank, press the bump. That all comes with it. Meth controller's there. I can't see shit. That sounds fucking mad, isn't it? But that's just 600, bro. <laughs> I can't see shit, though. We said that's bad feeling, that. I'm feeling Nah, that was nothing. You can't <laughs> say you felt that. Because you know what? In the morning, I forgot it was in map three. I ripped it. I'm just like, oh, it's giving me a headache. I'm like, come on. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's 750, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, no. <laughs> it sounds sick as well. It does, bro. That's, that's a one of one exhaust. There, you won't get that again. Comes with a watch, yeah? Nah, <laughs> 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 Man, nice to see you again as well. Nice to see you as well. So, yeah, man, guys, cars all clean, absolute flying machine. And uh, shout out your company as well, isn't it? FJ Motorworks, Free Palestine as well. Cheese, come on. Um, you know what it is. And uh, thank you for uh, coming through, bro. No, Respect. no, come on. So, what, R8 Twin Tarbo next year? Watch out, Fazzy Files, mm -hmm. my Instagram, hit me up. <laughs> what's going on people not gonna lie it's been a couple of days obviously i had to get you my first impressions on the x3m and i tell you right now this car is just so loud i mean let's just wind up with this <laughs> i mean like the thing's just too loud like bro doing the drive-bys for llf games it's got the lane assist so like as i go over the white lines 
it's literally pulling me in. But yeah, I've jumped to the motorway because this car is so bloody fast. I've never actually been a big fan of the X3M. I know it's an amazing car. I know it's got the S58 engine. I know with the handling. <laughs> what the fuck? Bros, it's a big M3. It's actually a big M3, no joke. Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, like, there's just something that's put me off of this car. Not to say that, you know, I know it's an amazing car, I know the handling is sick, I know it's fast as F, stays too tuned, you've got a genuine 10 second daily driver, like what could you want more than that really? You know, it's gonna stay with a 992 Porsche Turbo on a stage two tune, like what the F? I don't know if it don't, it hasn't got that, I don't know, if, uh, like the X5M feels proper prestige, but then even that's got an M5 engine in it, do you know what I mean, with M5 suspension. So yeah, I don't know. It could be just I've not been a huge fan on the looks. Obviously now, like I say, driving it in person, yeah, I totally get it. And it's not that I didn't get it, but I, I can't deny how awesome this car is. It is fucking sick. The grip, the agility, the speed, it's everything. Like, And the price point of this, you can pick them up for like, 50 grand they're probably in the high 40s now i'm actually going to be picking up a friend in a little bit because he's actually about to buy one of these and i wanted to uh well actually he wanted me to take him out in it so he can see what it's like on a stage two tune because he'll be tuning his but it is honestly sick so yeah i said the car is offensively loud but you know what no way near as loud as muppet no way near as loud as my m4 my m4 was ridiculous Ridiculous, that was fully decatted. I think this is like a sports cat on this. This actually sounds nice, you know, from inside the cabin. It's almost like, you know, when you pull your seats down in your hatchback and you hear the exhaust much better. Cabin size is really nice, man. It's not as big as an X5, but it's just in between. You've got all of the M3, M4 style carbon fiber in the interior. Obviously, we've got the 8 speed ZF gearbox and we have the S58 box. Literally, flatten the throttle. Like, what the hell? Ten and a half second quarter mile in a car that you can give to the missus. Like, bro, this is mad. And when it comes to the handling, yeah, the handling is something else. I've definitely become a bit of a fanboy. I know the internet loves this car. There's loads of people that own them. And it's the price point. The price point is ridiculous. As I said, they've got to be into the 40s. And you've got a car that produces 510 horsepower from factory, stage two tune, 750 horsepower. You want to run some ethanol, you can run this car's power, 830 brake. Madness. Now you've heard me before guys, I love the hands-free feature on a car. And on this one, he's actually had an emulator installed. So usually every 15 to 20 seconds, you have to touch the wheel to let the car know that you're still awake and you're still sort of, you know, paying attention. But this car's had an emulator installed, which means I can drive for an hour, two hours, as long as I want, I can drive hands-free. Literally have not got to touch the wheel. I noticed a lot of you commenting before uh, about this is an old feature. And yeah, it is a feature that's on many other cars, but to have it in a fucking high performance car like this or on the M3 Touring is just what is extra special, I think. You've got the ZF box, it's been tuned, rapid shifts, faster than the dual clutch transmission. And I'm not usually a fan of these flat bottom wheels and the carbon fiber in a in a BM. It usually, to me, it feels a bit tacky, but in this X3M specifically, it actually looks pretty cool. Like I wouldn't want it any other way. You've got the lever, the M stitching, the carbon fiber, you can see all your different uh, temperatures, coolant, oil. The door cards are carbon fiber with an ambient light strip. See, look, van moves out of the way. The car goes back up to its 70 mile an hour speed. You can also see we've got the panoramic roof with ambient lighting at night. It looks sick. And even these seats, they're just that bit better than you'd get in, say, an M3 or an M4, unless you get the buckets, of course. Sick! And this is the MEF controller here as well. You may have missed that when the owner was speaking about it. Leather door cards. Need to turn these pops and bangs off somehow it can be done the owner did mention how to do it but i've forgot it's been a couple of days uh, but yeah pops and bangs definitely get them off whoever wins it and yeah if i've not mentioned this car is live on the website as well uh, tickets will be like 69p 79p definitely want to have a chance of winning this bad boy oh 
my god, tunnel. Yeah, that's just off key, man. Fuck that. probably like it's gonna be something silly isn't it over two tons well over two tons um, the way that it just picks this big old weight up and throws it down the road This is actually embarrassing. <laughs> Bro, this is actually embarrassing. It's like cringy almost. Mate, he's fuming. Don't like to hurt people's feelings like this. You know what I mean? Man's in his X4, M40i, and then you just see an X3M go by. Put your foot down in this car. Big M3, <laughs> and we probably not even got in the right map. There's three switchable maps on this car. You got a 99, 95, 99, and you got the ethanol map as well. And uh, if we do turn the methanol on, which you don't need it, it probably runs even quicker because it keeps the intake temps a little cooler. Most high performance cars, after two, three runs, I can hear the fans. After two, three runs you are gonna start zapping a bit of the power, you know? Second. Mad. This thing flies. <laughs> so I bought a daily driver about six months ago, like something for the family, and I was debating an X5M, I was thinking about an X3M, and the reason I didn't go for either one of them, the X5M or the X3M, is just, I think they just get that wrong attention. It's one of them cars now, isn't it? You see them over social media, everybody wants to race it. It's got that racy sort of almost M140 attention. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Not to disrespect the car, but it's just like, I don't want my family in the vehicle and have some kids trying to race the car. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It's cool and everything. That's another M, that's an M340, bloody hell, man. Um, yeah, I don't want to have my family in the car and, you know what I mean, have people going crazy trying to race everywhere I go, you know? So I did end up buying something different, something that just doesn't get the same attention. But if I could go back, would I buy this? I mean, after driving this now, it is bloody cool. And, you know, this is a cheaper car as well than what I ended up buying probably still would go with what I ended up buying to be fair one thing you do have to remember is I do have a few other cars around me high performance cars so realistically if I did have the choice of one daily driver you know family car something that I could go fly around in I would have probably got an x3m but like I say I, I've got an m3 touring it's the same engine do you know what I mean um, x5m I was really thinking mm, x5m but the same I think just unwanted attention Hey, steak plug, come yeah, on. That's you, Back boy. here now, man, like Dan got the Wagyu. Come on, G. My G. 
this is bad. This is what I'm saying. This is bad, my boy. So, Dan, I've already told them that you're looking at an X3M, so I thought I'd come pick you up. X3M's here. You got it? Sunday, bro. You got it, yeah? Sunday, Sunday. Okay, I didn't want to say just in case. Yeah, no, nah, X3M. You got it, yeah? Yeah, Sunday, bro. Sick. Sick. Quick trip up to Manchester. And we outside. Yeah, I may even come with you. Not 100%, but. Let me know, bro. Your collection. Uh, I'm going straight stage two. Yeah. And then probably next few months, maybe more than that. Shit. This is what we're talking about. What's this pump? No, no F pump. Oh, yeah, I don't even know if it's even in this uh, but 99 map. This car's got meth as well, right? It has, yeah, yeah. Have you got meth turned on? Nah, but it doesn't make the car quicker no, anyway. Just for cool. It probably keeps, yeah. I mean, like, you know, when you do multiple runs in it, your intake yeah. temps get hot in it. So you do lose a bit of power sometimes, but. It's not, yeah, it's you don't need the bath. It's a nice spec as well, isn't it? It's the same spec as mine, bro. Just my car's red. Yeah, yeah. I think it looks nice. The one you sent me, it looks Yeah, that, that's it. it. Yeah, it's not that one I sent you, though. Yeah, I know. Another one. Yeah. Uh, you got the same bits in it. Everything, yeah, everything's coming. So we've got splitters. I'll race you that time with my Civic, innit? Yeah. For anyone yeah, that yeah. don't remember, I remember my Civic. Yeah, that was definitely. Remember when I did a little Mexico thing in the Civic Type R? Dan was in one of the M140s, give a man smoke, innit? You said go out on a 4x4, same thing again. Nah, 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 nah. quickly show you the car looks absolutely sick especially with the aftermarket alloys I cannot believe how fast this car is obviously we had three people in the car initially I was like yeah it's quick but bro driving it by yourself whole different thing gotta be one of the best looking x3ms out of there especially with the modifications but yeah guys I am gonna end the video there as always if you enjoyed it hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new let me know what you'd like me to film next we've got a couple of cars in the unit which I should have showed you I probably showed it in the last video but remember the cars live on the website lfgames.com link in the description somebody will be winning it for literally 69p probably 79p something silly like that so I'll see you next time